Are we going? Glad you brought your key of Yggdrasil. I seem to have dashed out without mine. Huh. You got sick of having house guests that fast? What? No. I could just use some fresh air. Is all. Well, I hope you like it cold. Should we swing by your cabin first? Will your furry friend be joining us this time? Uh... No. I, I meant to tell you. Enra's dead. Oh. I'm very sorry to hear that. As wolves go, he was always... very clean. Thanks. I'd offer to give you a hug, but... why traumatize either of us further? Okay. Caught a whiff of something awful near the Helheim Tower. Remember how to get there? Yep, just past the oarsmen. But that's what makes you think Jormungandr's nearby? I know what I smelled. Okay... well... A lot's kind of happened, and I need answers. Ooh. We're going to be a little bit. Uh. Oh, what's that? What's about that? <gasps> Father said I cast a spell when Fenrir died, but I don't know what he's talking about. Accidental magic? That is disquieting. <sighs> oh, lift broken. I'll find it later. Accidental magic's not all. I sort of turned into a bear. A bear? Including the slobber? Yeah. And I lost control. Brain knows magic better than anyone. She could help, but not giant magic. Fine. We'll do it your way then, Sin. A huge venomous snake seems much safer. It's uh, venomous. Stone on it too. Yes. Feels good, right? It's great, Sindri. We're blocked. How'd the armor statue end up here? Find a way through, and I'll tell you. I'm on it. Huh. Looks dwarven. No way I'm lifting that. Maybe with some help? Well, don't look at me. Who knows where it's been? Ooh, Looks like there's something hidden by the oarsmen. If only I had a way to burn this. Yes, it is sound stone. But the path's still blocked. I don't see any more on this side. Hold on. Let me look around. Maybe I need a different angle. From there, the sound stone. Oh, 
So Tyr's arm. Your father owed Thora blood payment. And well, he got it. Wow, great story. Anyway, is that likely to happen again? Sudden, uncontrolled, bear rampage? Beats me. We've got company. Got my back? They're literally made of filth. I'm not touching- You said you need to touch them. Closer, I like the way you think. Okay, here goes nothing! Get <laughs> Cover. Shut up. You want my help or not? All right, all right. Sacrificing so many objects from your bag of tricks. Well, you clearly need the help. Oh, whatever. The lift switch is broken. You can fix it, can't you? Or does your brother have all the talent after all? Depends. Is your father all the muscle? <laughs> if I say yes, you realize you're confirming Brock has all the talent? <sighs> there! Let's get going. Why are you worrying so much today? I just need to look out for the people I care about. Keeps bad things from happening to them. Freya wouldn't kill me. And Jormungandr's probably not even there. Besides, he likes me. He's only eaten me once. I had conveniently scrubbed that from my memory. Well, we're here. Told you he's gone. Well, have you tried calling him? Blowing the horns the first thing we tried. 
I'm not talking about the horn. Your mute you say That's not weird at all. Means we should have stayed home. Let's head back. Is that frozen lightning? Yep. Want a closer look? No. Door's frozen. Maybe I can... Would you just let me do it? You call your character? Hmm? Why don't you call him, baby? I'm going to sleep. So what was your plan, anyway? Just stroll up to the old Valkyrie Council Circle and hope Freya's in a good mood? Well, now that I know where she is, yeah, exactly what I'm gonna do. Fuck! I'm not working on baby. Don't tell Brock I cursed. He's unbearable when he's smug. No, baby. Look, Walder tried to kill her. We had no choice. I'm not sure she sees it that way. Oh, I'm not gonna ask her. Besides, they were your arrows. You're absolutely right. Which is exactly why I'm recommending we don't do this. And a head. A head. A head. A head. A head. A head. A Jump up! Uh. 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 
excitement for one day no way we're so close oh dear oh man my boss maybe this is a sign don't be a baby I'll catch you <clears throat> promise not to drop you this time hi fine just step between the realms then you know it doesn't work that way. Though sweet Bessel, I wish it did. <laughs> See? Is that so bad? I sincerely hope I never have to do it again, if that's what you're asking. <sighs> My shop! Well, if I can't stop you, then this is as far as I go. I'm gonna stay and fix this. Suit yourself. I don't think I can break this. I need to find another way around. You sure you want to go in there wearing the very arrow tip that killed her son? I'll hide it under my shirt. And besides, it's a reminder to be better. You need a murder weapon to be a better person? It makes me feel brave, okay? Is that such a bad thing? When it leads you to believe you can convince Freya of anything, yes, it is. I have to try. Wait. Just keep going. Jumpa. Are you sure this is a good idea? You haven't got a plan. Brock says some people run better on chaos. I think he's right. What makes you think that applies here? This is life and death. And this is Ragnarok. We can't just do nothing and we're out of options. Living. Living is an option. Okay. Now which way to the council? As long as I go up and forward, I think I'll get there eventually. Yeah. Sounds right. Yeah. 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 
Brownstone. Need to destroy the sonic piece first. All right, I just need to get a different angle on the soundstone. Magic spell Man, if father could see me now, he would lose it. If he just trusts me, how can I trust you? With my life? Actually, that's a good point. Maybe if you listen to me, could I not say the same? Well, where do you think I learned it from? Going up. Wonder what mom would do. Why don't you trust her? Why won't you tell me? Flying, oh, oh. 
I had a compass.
I got this, right? Yeah, I got it. Freya shouldn't be much farther now. Just need to look out for that big door. Hello down there. Hey! Come to your senses yet? Yes. I mean, uh, I'm not changing my mind. Ha! You do have doubts. Hey! Like you never do? Better than having regrets. I'm not sure I agree with that, but by all means, keep going and you going might find down? those too. Then you're going for down. Huh? What about Shaker Highland? No, I'm not playing at all. Just be sure to scream if she starts killing you. Thanks. I yep. That's the door. Hey, Freya. What? Can't I pay an old friend a visit? Nothing wrong with that, right? I mean, just because I'm responsible for the death of your son doesn't mean. Okay. Yeah. She probably avoid mentioning that. Is that Freya? Am I wearing this around my neck? The arrow tip that killed your son? That's a great question. Uh, I'm so dead. Here goes nothing. I'm gonna go go. Maybe just watch, baby. Freya! You should have stayed with Sindri. Wait! Stop! Your father. Where is he? Not here! He sent you? No! He doesn't know! shouldn't have come. He took my son. What makes you think I won't do the same? You're better than this. Take your life on it. Okay. What do you know of me? I know you haven't killed me yet. So while you're thinking it over, why don't you let me go and I can tell you why I came? If you mean to plead for your father, save your breath. His fate is sealed. Well, you know who's to blame for everything. I cannot get to Odin, nor do I need to. Ragnarok will take him. Yeah? Well, what if I told you that he came to Midgard? He came to us. Offered peace if we don't move against him. <laughs> Claims Ragnarok's already been averted. He lies. Maybe. But if you know Groa's prophecy, you know it depends on an army of giants. 
The Giants wait for war in Jotunheim. No. I've been there. There is no giant army. There are no giants at all. Just me. You. In Jotunheim, we learn the truth. My mother was the last guardian of our people in Midgard. And, and that's not all. The giants have prophecies about me. They know me as... Loki. I think maybe I'm supposed to help stop Odin somehow. But since all the giants are dead and you won't fight Odin, then he's already won. Why aren't we working together? Now that you can fight again! I am far from whole! Okay. Okay. What we found here. Maybe if you spoke to him. Here is alive? Yeah. We we broke him out of Svartalfheim. Impossible. The nine realms are closed to all. No. We opened up the way. We just don't know where to go next. But if we all band together, enough. Enough! Leave this place. Go and do not return. Go before I change my mind. Do not expect the same mercy for your father. Okay, so I'm not dead, but I didn't get any answers. So this all might have just been a very big waste of time, which I will never, ever admit this injury. It's a good thing I like climbing. Thank Amir. You're all right. How did it go? I was starting to think. Sindri, I told you I could handle it. But I don't think she's gonna help us. Uh, where's your necklace? Huh? Oh! I was thinking and I, uh, got rid of it. She took it, didn't she? Uh. Today was your lucky day. So, tell me, how did it feel to run on chaos? I... I just fixed that! Yuffa! I've still got my bag of tricks. If you need me, I'll be standing back here.
I'll repair it later. Let's get out of here before something else tries to kill us. Yeah, good idea. Hate to bring it up, but are we telling your dad about this? Since you've come clean and all. No way. He'd kill you. Right. Well, speaking of coming clean, I need your opinion on something. Something I've kept from my brother for a long time. <gasps> I'll tell you ever, way boy. Back. Come on. Okay, back to Alfheim Tower. You were saying? Long before you were born, there was an accident at the forge. Brock died. I couldn't accept it. I went to the Lake of Souls in Alfheim to steal him back. Legions of souls tried to stop me. I can still feel them crawling all over my skin. Thing is, I could only get three of his four soul parts back. Sindri. Brock just thought he got knocked out. I've been lying to him ever since. It's been eating at me lately. You have to tell him. He has a right to know. When the time is right. As should you with your father. That's not the same thing. Oh. Really? Now? Yeah! Anyway, you did a good thing. You saved Brock's life. I caused trouble. No. I made a choice. One that wasn't mine to make. What do you mean, a choice? I... I couldn't be alone. The other dwarves, when they saw him, they shunned us. So we left. Made our own home. Well... You can't change the past, but it doesn't have to be who you are. Let's go home before Father wakes up. That might be the best idea you've had all night. Trey. Trey? It's a... An... Shut up. Oh. <sighs> so I'm not allowed to give you a nickname? Is that what that was? Whatever, Loke. Nope. That was worse. Ugh. And I heard it when I said it. All right. Shall we? Guess I'm about to the doctor. Coming home empty handed. After Tyr was such a failure, just wanted now to. Now hang on, little Jotun. Tyr may not be everything you expected, but a failure 
You saved him from a terrible fate. That's not nothing. And hey, maybe he'll be some help to us yet. Maybe. But Father's not gonna go along with this forever. He's probably already got our next hiding place all picked out. Well, let's not make it worse by getting caught. When we get there, I'll cover our tracks at the gateway and slip around back. And you just act natural, but quickly. me. Do we trust the path they would put us on? I trust their wisdom, and this is the closest thing to hearing directly from them. You are certain the giants would not counsel war? I said that they were wise. In my experience, that goes with being peaceful. Oh, little brother! Told you we needn't worry. Atreus, where have you been? Peen? Hope you're all hungry. I could eat. Is everyone as well rested as I am? Be right down. Is this sausage? Uh, sure, why not? I remember food tasting better. I suppose you'd like to try cooking for this lot. I accept. What? Mm. Atreus, we are planning our next move. Oh, so where are we going? Alfheim, home of the elves. Alfheim? You hate Alfheim. Why would we move there? Move there? Oh, we are. Seeking information. The Shrine of Groa, young one. Your father tells me you found it there. Groa? The Knowledge Keeper? Oh, maybe there's a secret there I can unlock. Aye. You better than the seer who saw everything. Hmm. I wasn't sure you, um... Never mind. That's great. I'll find. Hey! Don't go forgetting this what'll get you there. You know what? I'm gonna build a bigger table. <laughs> More for me. Here, you're really up for coming with us? I am. Whenever you're ready. Well, Whenever your father's ready, I should say. If my counsel might help you towards the answers you seek, it's the least I can do to repay you. Plus, I think it will do me well to see the light of Elfheim again. Hmm. That elf light is some good shit. Okay, what's one of baby? I was merely asking how you found me. He explained the secret prophecies inside the Yodnar shrines. Fascinating. From there, we sent you taking stock of which shrines we'd seen, at which point your father recalled finding drawers outside the Temple of Light. And now that we can actually go to Alpha, the prudent course of action became self-evident. Nary a last step for the world's smartest man. Even without feet, if you'll forgive the levity. I was always fond of our talks, you know? Aye. And it's good to see you a free man again, old friend. Whatever you need.
I use it? Whatever you need, I'll create. He really did it. Tyr really slept in my broom closet. Is that normal for you tall, godly sorts? Or just the ones locked up for a lifetime or two? Right behind you. I'll meet you at the gateway presently, friends. Mind if I take a little peek at you? I promise I'll be brief. My goodness, what a strapping physique. Capable of an astounding variety of acts of violence, I imagine. What is happening? Uh, this must be the squirrel that tames the world tree. That delectable aroma. Could it be? Pardon the intrusion. Ah, yes. Amber resin. Delightfully nutty with a hint of squidding. No. Not one for gastronomic expiration, I see. Wait. If you're Radit Hosker, why are you so different when we summon you for help? It's a long story. <laughs> but you are correct. I am indeed Radit Hosker. The one you know as Radit Hosker is merely one of my spectral aspects. And the particularly nasty one at that. I consider him so far removed from myself that he's practically a different person. Speaking of... Bitter, would you like to come out and see your friends? Fuck off! I'm busy! I suppose that was to be expected. Anyway... Ooh. Now that I've polished off all this resin for you, would you like the seed back? It is the seed. Indeed. A seed of Yggdrasil, to be precise. Since my dwarven tenants performed their little reconfiguration, you'll need seeds like these to open up new destinations on my tree. <laughs> Your tree, huh? Yes, my tree. Here, let me show you. So that's why good Master Brock needed an Alpine seed. Clearly, you have important matters afoot. Svartalfheim remains at your disposal if you have unresolved business amongst the dwarves. That seed you found unlocks Niflheim of all places, a realm as ancient as it is vaguely sticky.
not going to Alpha him yet. It's probably best for Tyr to wait for us here. The soldiers we fought in Svartalfheim, those were Enriar? I thought Enriar were just spirits in Valhalla until Ragnarok comes. They were no spirits. Indeed, brother. Odin appears to have found a loophole. Activated his forces early as a standing army. Perhaps something he could only do without any honest Valkyries around to stand in his way. Do we have to be here? Creeping me out, all these poor bastards with their souls cut up. There's something over here. Ah, a memory of war. You could use this as a training arena if you like. You'll just be fighting the recollections of enemies. They won't be able to harm you. we've been destroying all this time? So it would seem. Free are we, free of the Father. Our half wise men belong to no other. What do you think that means? I don't know, but there's definitely something more going on here. Mimir, I know this sounds weird, but can you tell me again what happens when someone dies? Every living thing has a soul. And every soul has four parts. Form, mind, direction, and luck. Direction steers the souls of giants, dwarves, elves, and animals toward the Lake of Souls in Alfheim, where all the parts may be absorbed back into Alfheim's great light. So that's where Fenrir is? The Lake of Souls? So long as his soul still has its direction, aye, it's well on its way. Ah, there you are. I knew you hadn't forgotten me. Master Kratos, I would speak with you. Speak. If you are ever in need of my services and I am not present, I have installed these handy chimes for you to notify me. Simply throw your axe and strike the chimes and I will attend to your needs. There. Ah, you figured it out. Very well. You know how to reach me now. Now, what else I might have a there question. be? Splendid! I delight in offering my tutelage to the Inquisitive. Over the ledge, by the gateway over there. I noticed these dragons. Dragons? Oh no, young Master Atreus. Those are leaned worms, the brood of Neatho. Neatho? That's the mother? Correct. She's also a vital piece of the Yggdrasilian circle of life, as it were. I tend the branches up here, while Neatho chews the roots from below to prevent overgrowth. A delicate balance. So they're friendly? 
Well, they're not nearly so affable as myself, but there's no reason to expect hostility so long as they're left in peace. Neithog is a stern matriarch, as protective of her offspring as she is determined to teach them proper discipline. That sounds familiar. <laughs> Please come back anytime. As we travel, you can tell me the tale of your prior visit to the land of the elves. Sure, I can. Alfheim was the first time we ever realm traveled using your temple. Freya tried coming with us, but Odin cast a spell on her. She can't leave Midgard. That's terrible. So then we fought our way through an army of dark elves to get to the light. You interfered in the elf war. Not by choice. We sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked us. The Dark Elves were covering it with their sticky hive stuff. When we freed it, Light Elves came back. We seemed better in Alpha. <laughs> Did they now? Alfheim. It's been so long. Not sure where the temple is from here, but that's where we'll find Groa Shrine. Broken history. Aye, not exactly an easy fix for that. I see the elves continue their war. Yeah, so much for things being better in Alpha. <laughs> Yikes. Fimble winter hit Alfheim hard. No. Storms have plagued Alfheim's deserts long before Fimble winter. <sighs> Hold on. I hear something out there. Something big. It's in pain. Living desert. Huh. Feels like some kind of animal. How could anything live in a storm like that? Plenty of caves under the desert. Not exactly a paragon of comfort, but the dark elves get on best they can. Perhaps we can reach that brazier from above. There, the Temple of Light. Groa's shrine is at the top. Good eye. Bifrost eyes. Is everything okay? Hi, old friend. Just looting on your chests. We'll be right along. My dad likes loot. 
I know. I assumed the fate of his own realm took precedence. Wait. Are you his brother? Yes. Cut from a different cloth, that one. There's a barricade up ahead. What are those shiny rocks? Twilight stone. A rare material that can take millennia to form. Majestic, isn't it? Occasionally, the light of Alfheim will bind to a rock and crystallize, growing like... Oh! I didn't know it could do that. There's a gap in the fence over there. Apart by his audience. Well, one member of his audience. Well, Thor. he involved? Long ago, Freyr of the Vanni traveled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. Did you mention how that peace fell apart as soon as he left? I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh. No. <laughs> That's enough, please. You don't need to do this. We don't want to hurt you. We do not have a choice. Oh, 
Said. I'm just naive, I suppose. No. Just an optimist, old friend. to Freya, made by the elves. He must have left it here when he raced back to Vanaheim. What is this? A charm to ward off nightmares. In this case, Freya's. Well, knowing the elves, there are probably more tributes to find. <laughs> Best we move on for now, brother. Don't think we have the right tools for this one. So tall. We came in from the top last time. Didn't realize all this was even down here. It's an older gate, built to promote cooperation between the elves. But it looks like it's been sealed for some time. I'll go first. Atreus, let me know when I've reached halfway. So, uh, what's happening right now? This seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freyr was here. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. Father, now you go. Unfortunately for Alfheim, Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim and left this realm to its fate. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. Hmm. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but the realm isn't. Not anymore. Father, try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah! And here, you keep pushing forward. work, Atreus. Shall we? <clears throat> What's a Dark Elf statue doing in the Light Temple? That's just how they looked before the Division. The Division? Yes. The Elves weren't always split between Light and Dark, you know. This statue depicts the elves before the war, before they discovered the power of the light. Solid light. Guess some things don't change. Above the door, there's a light crystal. Yeah.
What's that sound? No sense in spoiling the surprise. The light. Ah. I've never seen the Lake of Souls so volatile. Aye. Fimple winter, you reckon? Of course. Making the light unstable. So the base of this light well, that's the Lake of Souls. Yes. After the creation of the Nine Realms, fallen souls began to gather down in those waters. When the elves discovered its potential, they built this temple to harness that energy. A smashing success, to say the least. Many of them became addicted to their newfound power, and thus the Light Elves were born. Well done. Though I imagine our Light Elf friends will be less than pleased. Speaking of Light Elves... Let me try talking to them again. They may... just to let these two do their thing, brother. Light Bar! Watch out! <laughs> Lucky for us, swearing off violence doesn't mean he can't disfigure some architecture. This way, the shrine awaits. <laughs> Temple looks so different than I remember. It was all broken and covered in hive stuff last time we were here. These elves use Alfheim's light to enhance the temple. And themselves by the look of them. They definitely look more dangerous than last time. Oh, those were just the foot soldiers. They'll get more dangerous the further up we go. Great. The shrine is this way, Kratos. Yeah, he knows. We just like to be thorough. I see. Behind you! <laughs>
Glad we explored. Shall we continue? So if these elves use the light to build doors and make themselves stronger, what do the Dark Elves want with it? To return it back to its source. To them, the natural resources of Alfheim are sacred, none more so than the light itself. Aye, the Light Elf's success came at a terrible price. Alfheim's once lively desert withered into a storm-ridden wasteland soon after the creation of this temple. More Twilight Stone up there. Mumia, oh. do you understand these poems? Oh, there's always meaning if you look hard enough, brother. It's all in what you bring to it. Oh. Gotta be a better angle on that Twilight More light elves ahead. Oh. Uh. Maybe that's not a great idea. Oh there, friends. Salutations. We mean you no harm. Tear. Get back.
<sighs> At least I tried. I get it now. Why they keep fighting? Dark elves want the souls and the light left alone. The light elves want to keep using them. That's the long and short of it. Aye. So then, which side is right? Really, is it so simple? And not our place to say. This is an elven conflict. I said as much the last time we were in Alfine. Right. made a lot of these light doors. Mm. Fortifications. Aye. None too eager to let the Dark Elves run the roost again. Let's continue our ascent, yes? I don't think that's the way up to the shrine. We know. There's a chest over here. Oh, I see it now. Forgive my impatience. Oh, tricky. There's gotta be a way to get your axe behind this crate, right? I don't mean to speak out of turn, but the white marble wall behind that grate. Perhaps your axe can reach it. Right, 
inside, brother! Oh, oh my goodness! Incoming! Above you! Target down! You're building quite the collection of poetry, brother. Why so surprised? My people are known for their culture. Not surprised. Steam. I suppose I'll leave you to it. <laughs> on the other side. Whoa! Tyr can really jump. That's the wrong one. No. Another check. He's getting the hang of it. I've never seen the Light Elf with so much control over the temple. Yes, that's on us. They must have anointed a new temple guardian. <laughs> Svartal Yoffer's counterpart. The Dark Elf King. Yes, he's in the light now, too. Hmm. Mystic doesn't see us. There's Twilight Stone on the ground. <laughs> I wonder if we could use Twilight Stone against them. Can't figure out how 
how they're making light bridges. Look at this statue. These crystals. I've noticed them on the elves as well. If this statue were to fall over the chasm... Oh! The crystals still make light bridges. Now the light helps wear them. Smart. Almost there. Allow me. I dare say he's beginning to enjoy the vandalism. Pretty soon we'll be laying waste to pottery. Shall we continue? Well, at least we're getting closer. Look up. See? It feels even taller on the inside. I can't believe all this was down here. Okay, so that's one. Ah, oh, the Nornir. Why must they insist on these frustrating trials? You would know better than us, brother. I can't remember the last time I visited the Norns, nor do I wish to try. Yeah. 
Left side, incoming! Oh no! No, oh, no, no, no! Buzzing? No, no, no. Oh, this is a fine mess! Oh, this is a fine mess! And here we go again. Once you've hunted, I wonder if it might be worth visiting the Raven Tree. Twilight Stone on that statue shield. But that angle isn't gonna work. Do you think there's any way to stop the elves from fighting each other? Had Freyr not abandoned the realm, a lasting peace may have formed. But now... Can we really place all the blame on Freyr? This war started long before his arrival. But he had the power to heal this land and end the war, did he not? He made his choice. The wrong one. Well, fine, perhaps, but not necessarily for him. Well, I suppose we're all entitled to watch them, regardless of where they can.
What angle are we talking about? Father, up there. I'm sure there's a way to set it in place with some highly targeted destruction. Right? Job, brother. This way. We're almost. Do you still hear something wounded out there? I think so. It could just be the storm. Perhaps we can investigate. Once we've uncovered a mysterious seer's hidden prophecy, 